will start. Awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Alright, so anyway, today is a video that I should have made. Uh, today is a day. This video is a video that I should have made a very long time ago. Um, and it's actually how to deal with food temptations. Uh, a lot of people, they're unprepared when it comes to food, uh, you know, and social events, and they just end up falling flat on their face when it comes to the nutrition plan of whatever program they're doing. So, this video is going to focus on how to overcome food temptations and what you can do, some practical, practical stuff. So, I got a listy list, I got a listy list here of seven things that you can do. So, numero uno, Ident you gotta identify your cravings. So you know, okay, is it chocolate? That's mine. My solution, Shakeology, it's delicious. Takes care of that craving. Um, identify your cravings. If you know where you fall, you can set up a plan in order to avoid that failure. I say this all the time, you're sick of hearing it, but I'm gonna say it again. If you fail to plan, then plan on failing. Either way, you're going to be planning on doing something. I just hope you're planning on succeeding. So if you identify your cravings, you're going to have a much better opportunity uh, at overcoming those cravings with a plan. And part of that plan is actually removing the temptations. This is number two. Number two is to actually remove the temptation completely. Go through your cupboards. Get rid of the Frito-Lays. Get rid of the chili, the chili cheese Cheetos. Get rid of the cream puffs, get rid of the ice cream in the freezer, just get rid of all the nasty junk that isn't going to help you get towards your goal. That's how, you, that's how you can resist food temptation. If the temptation is not present, then it's not going to be a temptation. So that's, that's something that just blows people's mind. And they think, wait, 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 I don't want to throw out all this good food. Okay, I'll give it to someone else. You want to give someone else food that's going to kill them? Go for it. I don't recommend it. Throw it away in the garbage where it belongs. Get rid of the temptation and you're not going to be tempted as often because there's always social events, all stuff you can't control, but you can prepare for those things. One of the things, number three, number three, do you do three like this with your, with your fingers like this or do you do with your pinky? I used to do it this way with my pinky, but now I like doing it like A-OK, -okay, three. I like this way. I don't know. Post in the comments what you do. But one thing that really, really helped me when I was going through my weight loss journey and really changing my lifestyle, my eating habits and all that, was finding healthy alternatives to things that I really enjoyed. I really enjoy cookies. I really enjoy cupcakes. I really enjoy birthday cake. So I found this website. I'm going to toss this to you. I'm going to throw this your way. You can toss it right on back if you want to. But I'm going to throw this out there. It's called Protein Pow. Protein, P-O-W, dot com. This British lady, she's a, she's a mass, master genius, grandmaster doctor of using protein powders and creating high protein treats. And they're phenomenal. Phenomenal. I make, I make like Shakeology brownies, protein, banana nut protein muffins, all this stuff. And, and I'll have one of those when, the, my, when my cravings get real bad. So I choose, when it comes to desserts, that's my solution, is ProteinPow.com. Uh, with other foods, um, you find healthy alternatives to what you crave. If you want pastas, switch to a whole wheat pasta. Switch to a whole wheat pasta. It's that simple. If you, I mean, you can go with, you, you can go with rice noodles. There's, there's, or brown rice noodles. There's so many more options, healthy options, than the status quo of what America's eating and killing themselves with. So find healthy alternatives. Uh, number four, number quattro, is to replace your rituals. So for most people, uh, a ritual for after dinner is to eat dessert. Stop it. Get rid of the rituals that are not supporting your goals. And replace those rituals with something healthy. So instead of, you know, what I used to do uh, when I needed when I needed dessert after dinner is I got a sugar-free Jello cup, just a little cup, portion control, a sugar-free Jello cup, and I ate that for dessert, and it didn't hurt my calorie, my macros, or any of that stuff. Um, I don't like tons of artificial sweeteners in my diet, 
So I, I gradually wean myself off of those. Um, but those really helped me uh, to break the ritual of eating dessert after dinner. Now, you have to determine what your rituals are that don't support your um, fitness goals. Maybe when you get home from work, you automatically go straight to the fridge and, and you make some bad choices. Well, when you get off work, instead of going straight to the fridge, get a giant glass of like 12 to 16 ounces of water and just chug that thing. And you're going to notice, it's like, holy crap, I'm not actually hungry. I was actually thirsty. So, a little tippy tip there. Go for it. Um, the next tip is to be prepared. This sort of goes without saying it, involved with your entire journey. Again, you plan to fail, or if you fail to plan, then plan on failing. You, you absolutely can't succeed without a plan. Um, you know, when you're when you got a social event coming up, when you got a birthday party, you need to plan on what you're gonna do when you're confronted with temptation. Okay, what am I gonna do? There's gonna be cake there. I love cake. Okay, I'm gonna bring a protein bar and an apple, and I'm gonna eat that while everybody else is eating cake. I know I might get made fun of, but you know what? I am committed to changing my life. I'm committed to changing my circumstances. I'm committed to not feeling this way anymore. I want to be a different person. And this sacrifice, you're sacrificing birthday cake, come on, for a, for a while. You're sacrificing birthday cake, how hard is that? It, for me, it was very difficult, so I had to make a plan. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat a protein bar. I'm gonna eat, you know, I actually had family get angry at me because at Thanksgiving, I wouldn't eat Thanksgiving dinner. I brought, like, a, a tuna fish salad that I made. It was, uh, it was pretty heartbreaking to see all this, like, pumpkin pie, berry pie, apple cobbler, berry cobbler, turkey, gravy, stuffing. Oh, I love stuffing. I love stuffing. But now I can make it with whole wheat stuff. And it's, it's a little more healthy. You can find healthy options all over the internet. Just do it. But be prepared. Make a plan for every situation. If you're going, if you're going out to dinner with your wife or your, your husband, make a plan on what you're going to eat. Just look up the restaurant's menu before you go to the restaurant. Decide what you're going to eat. And if it, there's nothing on that menu, choose another restaurant or decide, call them and ahead of time and ask, hey, you know, I, I'm looking at your menu, but I'm not seeing something that fits sort of my diet plan. Can I order off the menu and, and confirm before you go there? Plan. Be prepared. Um, number six is drinking water. You would be surprised at how many um, of your hunger pangs can be... Um, subsided by drinking water because your body isn't actually hungry. You're actually just dehydrated. You need to be drinking a lot of water. I drink about a gallon of water a day. And and I notice this. It's like your body's saying, oh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I drink water and the hunger is gone. It's not just my belly filling up with water, but the hunger is actually gone. So drink a ton of water. There's so many more health benefits to it. You know, you're joint repair, muscle repair, all that stuff. You need water, so drink it. And lastly, do not take this the wrong way. This is an eight minute video so far, so I'm gonna make this quick. You need to reward yourself. Let's say, you know, you'll go insane, you know, not having any any treats or reward for long periods of time. I, sort of a masochist, I went 210 days without a single cheat meal, not even a piece of hard candy, but I reached my goal of like 7 or 8% body fat after being 27% body fat. Um, that's me. I'm sort of, I need that regimen in order to succeed. Uh, but some people need to be rewarded. So if you plan for those rewards, say if I do this for 30 days, I'm going to reward myself in this way. Make it a treat and not a cheat. That's the key. So this video is almost 10 minutes. Um, I hope these tips were helpful on how to curb uh, food cravings or food temptations as well. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Visit the blog post um, where I'll bullet point these things uh, in the link below. You can also, I'll provide a link. If you want to make me your free coach and get one-on-one -on -one support from me, you can do that by clicking the link below to make me your free coach. And I love you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you on... <coughs> I can't even speak to you. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video and get to it. Fail to plan, plan to fail. Remember that. Drill it into your head. 
I'll see you later.